It's a, it's a gong show in there this morning. Look at all these lambs. And not enough moms seem interested. <laughs> Sunday morning chill. Look at that. But she's totally dreaming. I get to almost the end and I really want to see how I'm doing so far. Good Sunday morning. I am trying to uh, prepare myself. It's a it's a gong show in there this morning. Well, as predicted, I'm glad I put her in a pen because uh, she had three. So I got to get her up, make sure she's okay. But look at all these lambs. Two there. One here, one there, and one there, and one over there. And not enough moms seem interested. <laughs> so we're gonna just, we're gonna get to work here. Is that yours? Thank you. Okay, I got them figured out, except for this one will not take the slam. And I'm pretty sure it's hers. Uh, so, that will become mine. So I don't think anyone else will take it either. Will you take that baby? Will you take that baby? Hi goat. Good morning. It's a feisty lamb. If I could... Oh? No. So I put her in the pen last night. That's the one that I was like on the fence about. I'm like, do I do it? Do I not do it? The reason I didn't, didn't want to do it is in case she didn't get back up and then there was some in a water bag, which is exactly what happened with the one lamb. So we have three. I'm gonna check her for another one just because they are a little smaller. But she hasn't got up yet, so I have to try to do that as well. That lamb. I think I'll just take it, feed it classroom. Yeah, my baby now. Thanks, big baby. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Thanks a lot. It's one of those mornings that I have to turn around and listen to the quiet and soak it all in because I'm getting tired. But I did that. I got everything kind of ready for Carissa when she comes in here this morning. Um, I have a list of bottle babies. Uh, those triplets on the mom. Uh, mom still hasn't got up. Another older U, one of my uh, original steel U's, just... Oh, I don't know. It's just frustrating. Uh, so they're all fed as much as I could, but they need topped up. Uh, the rejected lamb is in the bottle pen and it wouldn't drink, so I think it already drank this morning. It was all licked off, so that is even more frustrating when a lamb is licked off Mom has accepted it, loved it, and then she has another one. That one runs away because it's healthy and happy, and she won't take it back. That is another good reason I have this milk machine because, um, I don't know, it's, it's a way that I can still save lambs. The last few days have been really busy. I'm gonna run into the house, have another coffee, have some breakfast with Mark, see how he's feeling. He's really suffering. He was, he's the worst I've seen him in a long time, and, um, this weather forecast too has him, like he was really pumped about getting back in the fields and it was looking like it was gonna be a good spring and I said, don't give up yet. I think it's gonna turn around in May. I just texted Chris and she said, yeah, there's two just starting to land here. So I'm just gonna have a look at them and um, 
Maybe do an internal, see how far they are. Sunday morning chill. It is beautiful in here today. So my little black faced you is lambing. She had a water bay, it looks like a pop, so she should be she should be motoring now. Yep. Need this plug right there. And this lady, I'm a little concerned with her because she's been acting weird even when I was out here this morning. Now, Carissa said she just dropped her water bag. I can see it right there. But I just don't like the way she's not even going through the motions. Sometimes that means there's one backwards. I'm gonna put her in and do an internal. I think Blackie's okay on her own. I keep saying, oh, today it's not gonna be very busy. And then uh, lambing happens. So two, the two have lambed that were in labor. The little Suffolk you had twins. They both had twins. This one still hasn't got up, so I might just feed it a bottle. It just came out really, just kind of slow. She's a real good mom, lots of milk. So I might just grab a bottle, feed it, and feed these two little ones. Mom was really slow getting up here too. But they look really good. I was really nervous about this ewe uh, after she gave birth. She just didn't want anything to do with them, but they do sometimes use will after they've delivered. Sometimes you just gotta give them a bit of time. If it was a tough delivery, these were a pretty big pull. If it's been traumatic on the ewe, just give her a few minutes. Try to give her some water maybe if she'll take it and uh, give her time because quite often they'll, they'll come around and she came around really nicely. So lovely you. Oh, I love that. The gurgle, the gurgle, I love you. <laughs> Wait, hello. Hello. How are you? You're so pretty, those colors. How are you doing, goat? Oh, so cute. I'm just watching Ruby call for her lambs. Oh, you want some love first? Okay. Oh, you sick. You call them for your babies? Are they gonna come? Let's see. Where's your babies? Oh, there they are over there. Right there. See if they come. Oh, Rusty's going. That's so cute. Isn't it amazing they know each other? I love this. Look at her go. She knows. Look at that. There he is. She wants both, not just one. She's very persistent. She's a good girl. Where's Ruby Sue? Where? I know, I don't know where she is. You find her. Where is she? She's sleeping. She's over here. Go find her. She won't stop. She's not even letting Rusty drink. I don't know where she is. Rusty, what are you looking at? <laughs> Let's see if she cuts up. I just love watching this. She's just gonna go and get him. She's so persistent.
Well, we've had a couple other new arrivals just now. Still trying to get this little one going. It wouldn't take classroom for me, but it has moved. It was here, and it looks like it's moved over there. So maybe this afternoon, what I did is I went around and tagged all these ewes and lambs, starting with Goat and her babies. So they're all tagged and recorded. It takes a while, I'm not gonna lie. When there's more than two, it just seems to really drag on. This one, this you is hilarious, she's sound asleep. Mm -hmm. Sound asleep. Tired. <laughs> Look at the lamb. <laughs> Leg. Very cute. <laughs> what is she doing? Is she dreaming? But she's totally dreaming. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm getting this on camera. And then there were six. And no babies. Good morning, it's Monday. Six left. Yesterday ended up being another busy day. We had two, four, six, eight, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We had eight, we had 18 more lambs yesterday. So this is day 18 of lambing, which means a ewe's breeding cycle is 17, about 17 days, 17 to 21 days. So yesterday marked the, just kind of we're at the end of the first cycle of their breeding period. Uh, now, because I bred these guys naturally, I gave them 34 days to breed. So these girls could either go, they can go anytime now because, um, they either got bred in their first cycle or some of these got bred in the second cycle. If they got bred in the second cycle, they could take another 17 days to, to lamb, if you can believe that. Uh, they don't look that far. Like they, they look, some look closer than others, but it's not like none of them don't have an udder at all. So I'll do a further kind of evaluation on those later today. Uh, but first of all, I just wanna go through and make sure none of these new babies need topped up with a bottle. I know I had one that was struggling over there yesterday. And I'm really hoping it's behind that you because I don't see it right now. I'm just gonna go check. Hope it didn't die on Carissa last night. Where's your other baby? Where is it? Oh no. Where is it? Did it die? I found it. It was there. It was buried. So she died. Must have died. We could not get a bottle into it. And uh, it was just really full of 
fluid in its chest whenever we're able to... I can't remember that one's backwards coming out. Darn it. This one's good. Lamb in a pail. Lamb in a pail. That's the speed, guys. Don't worry. I would say she's close. And I would say... So she's further along. Like, her udder doesn't look... Oh, it looks kind of pink. She might be a little further. She's... Maybe a few days yet. And I don't see her because she's not standing up. Yeah, they're all within, I would say... I hope all this week, anyway. That would be nice. For weaning and for everything. And for not having to set up a pen for six ewes. That kind of sucks. A lot of people are asking about this uh, ewe with the X on its back. This is the one that aborted about three weeks before the group uh, started lambing. So she's just marked. I was trying to get her back into... She wasn't feeling good for the longest time, and even yesterday she didn't look good. But today she doesn't look as bad, she's chewing her cud. I want her to have some higher energy feed just to get some conditioning back on her. Okay, let's go get a bottle. I know about you guys, but I get to almost the end and I really want to see how I'm doing so far. I probably wanted to know this about a week ago, uh, but I've been not brave enough to check because it's felt like it's been bad. I am all up to date for tagging up to yesterday's lambs. I haven't tagged anything from yesterday. So as of, that would be, as of Saturday night, uh, we've had 207 lambs out of 87 ewes. 207 divided by 87. Yeah, 2.38. So pretty good. So out of the 207 lambs born, there's 190 that are st still with me, alive. 16 of them were stillborns, 16 out of 207. So stillborns were 7%, and I think I'm in, in usually in and around that nine, I know it sounds bad, but for me, I feel like, I feel like that's improving. So I'd, I'd have to check out what my last, my December group was for stillborns. I feel like it was a little, I feel like it was closer to nine, but I might be wrong. Stillborns for those who, um, don't know what a stillborn it just means it's born already not alive why do i get that i think most of the stillborns have been multiples there's usually a reason and then other times i'm like sometimes they're born but it's still in the water sack so was it dead or did mom not get up and look it off in time so some of it is observation error like not error but just not there i write them down as stillborns just because it doesn't look like it ever took a breath you've seen it because i've i feel like i filmed every you lambing this group you've seen a you sometimes they take a while to get up if the you is laying down through the whole thing sometimes there's just not a force enough force for that lamb to break through that water sack so quite often it looks really bad when she stands up for that final like to get the hips out but quite often it actually does the lamb a favor because it it's enough gravity gravity and force to break through that water sack so it looks bad it looks like she's dropping her babies on her head and i laugh about it but i'm like it's actually probably she's actually probably doing me a favor by doing that because it breaks through so yeah the numbers are not near as bad as i thought they were. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. So, so far I've had one you had quints, nine ewes had quads, seven, only seven singles, twins, there was 51 twins and there was 19 triplets as of yesterday. So when I felt like there was a lot of triplets, there was 19 ewes that had triplets out of a hundred ewes. hundred and a bit, maybe. So yeah, six left to go. This will probably be my last daily vlog on the lambing part. There's a lot going on, guys, right now. We're itching to get to the fields. I've got a group that I am breeding this week, so you'll see me do that. I believe Wednesday I pull out cedars and get those bred, uh, introduce them to the boys. If there's something you guys want me to talk about or do, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go through the comments that I've missed for the last, every video there's 400 plus comments on, and I just can't, when I'm daily vlogging, I can't get through them all. But I love that you guys do it because when I do get a day, I do try to go through those. 
So keep the comments coming and even if it's for other people to read and for you guys just to talk back and forth, that's what the channel's for. It's not for me to tell you stuff. A lot of you guys have been with me from the very beginning and you can answer their questions just as much as me. So I just like it as it's a community forum as long as it stays respectful and respectful of others. I thank you so much for the support over these last 18 days. And uh, yeah, this is probably the last real lambing video, and uh, but there won't, it's not the last of the lambs. You'll see these guys all the way through, as I always do. And then we'll try to find new content. You guys, let me know what you want to see. Uh, Fieldwork's going to start up here shortly, but <clears throat> if there are ideas, content ideas that you want me to cover, drop them in the description below or head over to my community post because I will see it there, probably a lot easier than if it's in in the description box here. But thank you guys for being here.